And as you know, um, Notting Hill Housing will be the new landlord on the um, newly redeveloped Aylesbury Estate if they get to take it over. So um, Genesis will be, um, they've just voted to merge, so Genesis will be part of that outfit that takes over um, the Aylesbury. So I think it's quite important that we know what kind of a landlord uh, people have waiting for them. Um, I also can see that there are probably about four or five um, Ellsbury leaseholders in the room. Um, I would encourage you to um, to say a few words, um, and I would um, echo what um, what uh, uh, Jerry said. Um, we this is also about money, so uh, we've got a collection team. So please kind of get ready to put some money in the team um, on your way out. Um, so. Um, Molly, if you wouldn't mind uh, giving us your words about, yeah, there it is, giving us a uh, few words about uh, Genesis. Hello everyone, um, my name is Molly and I'm a long-term <coughs> long -term social housing tenant, originally with PCHA, now Genesis. Don't quite know when they took over, I think they just very quietly snuck in there. Um, and as far as I'm aware, you're Notting Hill tenants yeah. here, and basically Gemma and I was going to come and talk, but it's me and I'm slightly winging it. Um, so I'm just going to tell you basically what sort of a landlord Genesis are, and it starts with an S and ends with a T, and it's a four letter word. They are not very good, they do not care about their tenants, we've had, certainly where I live, no cyclical repairs in 17 years. Um, the cold centre, or the call centre rather, is a cold centre. It's very cold and unfriendly. They make you feel like you're in position when you're speaking to them. This is my home where I live, where I brought my children up, and I want to feel safe and secure, and I do not. Genesis has been in debt for the last 10 years. I don't know what the figures are, I'm sure you can find out, but they've been in debt for the last 10 years and therefore my rent and all the other tenants and secure tenants and assured tenants who pay their rent are paying basically off the interest on Genesis debt. So why Genesis, or why Notting Hill want to get into bed with Genesis, I do not know. But there's huge amounts it's of money. Market. Yeah, huge amounts of money to be made. Kate Davis's wage packet is about to double. Neil Haddon, who is the CEO of Genesis, is resigning with a, a huge £500,000 payoff. Thank you. He's resigning. Why is he getting paid? To, he resigned. You know, I mean, the, the company's <coughs> been in debt for 10 years. So, unfortunately, I don't really have anything good to say about Genesis. And I started with GCHA. They were small. They weren't brilliant. But they were 100 times better than Genesis is. And... We had the Genesis people and Notting Hill had some meetings with the shareholders. One was at the Tabernacle and one was in um, Port Cullis House near the House of Parliament. At the Tabernacle meeting, I spoke to two shareholders. I believe they were Genesis ones outside afterwards. We were talking about this, that and the other. And I had a slight moan about the fact that the cyclical repairs hadn't been done for 17 years. One of these shareholders then had a meeting with Deepesh Shah, who is, I believe, the CEO of Genesis, and he said to him what I relayed to him. The next thing I know, I've got a phone call from Genesis. All of a sudden, they want to do my cyclical repairs. Now, this is only because the shareholder has complained to Deepesh Shah, and Deepesh Shah has as probably a sweetener to the shareholder to get him to vote the right way has said, right, we'll do her cyclical repairs. Well, it's not about me. It's about everybody. It's about all of us. We live in this. And when I signed my tenant's agreement, it said that I would pay the rent and they would maintain the building. Now, if I had not paid my rent in 17 years, I'd be on the street. They have not maintained my building in 17 years. So I would like and I'm sure everybody else who's done it, would like their share of the rent that went towards the sicker or repairs to be refunded. I am paying towards a massive debt that they have that they didn't ask me to get involved in. And as a tenant with no tenant rights, I feel very upset about it all. So I'm sorry to disappoint you, but your new joint landlord will not be any good. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Thank you. And, and, and,
Thank you. Um,